Hello everyone. My name is Kritika Datar and I am from IIPS DAPD. Today I am going to explain here some of the applications of cloud computing. First, let us start by understanding what cloud and cloud computing is. The term cloud refers to a network or the internet. This means that cloud is basically a storage space in the network or in the internet which we can use freely without without any cost. It is available in public or uh, in public or in private mode. What cloud computing is that it is a technology that uses remote servers on the internet to store, manage and access data online rather than on local drives. The data can be anything such as files, images, documents, audio, video and more. Thus what I mean by this line is that cloud computing is a technology that is used to access all the data that we have stored on the cloud. Now the data can be anything we, that means we can store anything on the cloud. There is no restriction for that. The first question that comes into mind is what are the applications of cloud? Cloud comes into picture in the education sector, social networking, management sector and in many other things. Cloud is also expanded in the healthcare sector. Due to the invention of internet or we can say that due to the availability of internet, cloud computing has came into picture and represent itself as an attractive option for developing health monitoring system. Some of the examples of cloud applications are ECG analysis in the cloud, protein structure prediction, gene expression data analysis, satellite image processing, CRM and ERP, and social networking. Now let us first start by understanding what is ECG analysis in the cloud. The full form of ECG is electrocardiogram. ECG is the electrical activity of the heart cardium. Due to this activity, a waveform is produced that is repeated over time and that represents the heartbeat. To ECG machine, uh, which is used to measure the heartbeat of the human body, the output gets printed on the graph paper. As we can see here in this diagram, the output has been printed on the graph paper and we can see the heartbeat of a particular human being. Thus, cloud computing technology allows the remote monitoring, um, remote monitoring of a patient's heartbeat data. By this remote monitoring, we can uh, avoid going hospital and the doctor can instantly be notified with the cases of patient that need their, needs their immediate attention. Now in this diagram, as you can see, there are two parts. The first part that is the left hand side of this diagram represents an image of a mobile phone. Uh, there are different types of computing devices equipped with ECG sensors to constantly monitor the patient's heartbeat. The respective information is transmitted to the patient's mobile device that will immediately be forwarded to the cloud hosted web services for analysis. Now or after that, the entire web services from, from the front end of a platform that is completely hosted in the cloud that consists of three layers. SAAS software as a service, PAAS platform as a service and IAAS infrastructure as, as a service. With such a system, ECG analysis is possible easily and the doctor can also get the information without any delay. Thus, through ECG analysis of uh, through cloud computing, large number of users can monitor their heartbeat rate and uh, can avoid any health issues. Another application of cloud computing is protein structure prediction. What are proteins? Proteins are chains of amino acids joined together by peptide bonds. Manually 3D structure determination is difficult and slow and expensive for protein. Therefore, the structure of, uh, prediction of protein helps in the design of new drugs for the treatment of diseases. This prediction task uses machine learning techniques for explaining the secondary structure of proteins. Now there is one uh, portal that is available online for the uh, uh, prediction of the structure of protein that is, which is called the Jiva portal. In this figure as you can see that the web portal enables scientists to not worry about the prediction task. All work is done by the cloud service. Machines divide the pattern recognition problem into three phases. The first phase is called the initialization phase. The second phase is called the classification phase. And the third phase is called the final phase. These phases execute in parallel to reduce the computational time of the prediction. The prediction algorithm is then translated into a task graph that is submitted to NACA. Once the task is completed, the middleware makes the results available for visualization through the portal. Now, Jiva is a computational platform that improves the efficiency of the system and also gives new algorithm for the prediction of the structure of protein. Jiva web portal system consists of an interactive web interface and a grid middleware. With the interactive web interface, users can submit prediction requests for protein, secondary structures, collect results and maintain the history of the prediction data. And by the means of grid middleware, researchers can not only deploy their prediction applications in a distributed environment easily, but also monitor the execution in the distributed environment.
Now, what Eneka is? Eneka is a platform and a framework for developing distributed applications on the cloud. Eneka provides the developers with a rich set of APIs, uh, which are used for expressing the business logic of applications by using the preferred programming uh, abstractions. System administrators can use both public cloud and the protected cloud depending upon their requirements. The third advantage or the third application of cloud computing is gene expression. Now what are genes? A gene is a basic physical and fundamental unit of heredity. As we can see that gene is used for carrying hereditary characteristics of parents into their offsprings. Genes are made up of DNA and they act as instruction to make molecules such as proteins. Uh, you, in, humans can have a uh, variety of sizes of genes that can vary in size from a few hundred DNA bases to more than 2 million bases. Uh, in this context, gene expression profiling it is utilized to provide a more accurate classification of any kind of disease or we can say that more accurate classification of tumors. Gene expression profiling is a measurement of expression level of thousands of genes at once. So it is widely used for cancer prediction. It is also used in the medical diagnosis and drug design. We can see here in this diagram that gene expression analysis is a three-step uh, three step process. In the first step, there is an analysis pipeline. Through the analysis pipeline, when cal uh, calculates the gene expression and the analysis of the gene expression is done, the output is then uh, transferred to the second step. The second step cons consists of map reduce. MapReduce is a programming model designed for processing large volumes of data in parallel by dividing the work into a set of independent tasks. After getting the output from the second step, the output is then forwarded to the third step where the performance or the result, uh, we obtain the result. The result can be in the form of a bar graph or in the form of a line graph. Now there are various tools available online for the expression of gene and uh, for the analysis of gene expression. The various tools available are Alt Analyze, DChip, G Workbench, Weblomic Suite, Merna, Cloud Co XCS. Cloud Co XCS is a machine learning classification system for gene expression data sets on the cloud infrastructure. Now, their uh, gene expression technology allows for the monitoring of gene expression level of thousands of genes at once. Therefore, gene expression analysis is cost friendly and uh, reduces. Uh, and is also feasible to obtain the gene expression profile uh, profiles of tissue samples. Now, why do we use cloud computing? There are several other options available, available on the internet, but why cloud computing is becoming so much popular in the real world? Cloud, the, there are many reasons for that. Some of them are unlisted. Cloud computing bundles together the processing power of the individual computers using the internet. This means that cloud computing connects several individuals together using the internet. All the individuals can come together on the internet. They don't uh, have to meet together uh, in physical form. They can con uh, connect to the internet. Thus, cloud computing brings them together. A number of firms with large computing centers like Amazon, Microsoft, etc. rent unused compu uh, computers over the internet for a fee. That means many large firms like Amazon and Microsoft use cloud computing. That means it is more reliable. Cloud computing makes economic sense because cloud vendors are very efficient at running and maintaining huge collection of computers. Cloud computing is economically viable because uh, cl uh, cloud, computing, uh, cloud computing is not very costly and many vendors use cloud computing therefore uh, which, which, uh, leads, which leads to us understanding that cloud computing is also very efficient and cloud computing can, uh, can process huge amount of data uh, in a very short time. Researchers struggling to keep pace with their sequencing instruments can use the cloud to scale up their analysis while avoiding the headaches associated with building and running their own computer center. Which means that when researchers want to invent something new or when researchers want to do some analysis, they need to focus only on the part of analysis. They should, uh, they should not worry about that uh, where the data sets are kept or how will they be processed and uh, how will the, all the data sets be handled. Uh, by the invention of cloud computing, they uh, they can avoid their headache of uh, of managing all the data and uh, storing all the data on computer center. They do not have to build their own computer center rather than they can use cloud where they can uh, store all the data and thus focus mainly on their research. So everyone, this was all about cloud computing. I hope you liked the video and thanks for watching it till the end.